Hi everyone, this is Master Arts Handman 1, and today we are doing a review of my Mega Box Custom Chris Kyle figure. So, this is the SEAL Team 2 sniper that the book and movie American Sniper is based on. He was the most lethal sniper in American history, and he is one of my heroes. So, let's go on to the review and specific figure. So yeah, here is Chris Kyle now on his rotating figure stand. So the first thing I'd like to point out is that this SR-25 rifle, which is the marksman rifle that he used whenever he wasn't actually using his legitimate sniper rifle, which I have right here, I'll actually touch on this. So not much about this is custom, except I painted the buttstock, or like the rubber buttstock piece black, and then now the scope and the barrel piece are actually one whole assembly. I crazy glued them together because I shaved off the whole thing that lets the scope uh, slide off because that kind of made the scope rest way too high and I wanted real accuracy to real life with this. So I decided to do that and I think it looks a lot better now and of course this is the new sniper rifle mold it has kind of the muzzle brake on the end and the suppressor can go over that. But So I'll put that over to the side now. But yeah, so this SR-25, this is actually a Sidan SR-25. Sidan is a company, I'm pretty sure out of China, but they make kind of brick arm style Lego rifles or like custom Lego rifles. But this one, originally I was going to make a Lego Chris Kyle figure. But then when I realized that this SR-25, it looks really big on LEGO figures, but looks almost perfect. Or actually, it does look perfect with Mega Bloks figures. I decided, why not make a Mega Bloks figure, because that'll be cooler, it'll look more realistic. And just, yeah, so I did that. So this uh, piece, originally it was all black. But what I did with this was all the pieces that would come like as a tan color like the scope and the suppressor and the like um and the rail covers and kind of the buttstock piece i painted those like full tan to make it look like they're like factory tan but then the rest of the rifle which would be black i actually like dry brushed uh tan on to make it look more like spray painted or just kind of not as nicely painted on because it would just be the SEALs would have painted their guns tan. So it wouldn't be perfect and there would be paint scratching off. So I kind of tried to replicate that. But now on to Chris Kyle himself. So first of all, I'd like to point out the Punisher logo, which is on the front of his uh, tactical vest. Or plate carrier, sorry. So uh, SEAL Team 2, which Chris Kyle was a part of. Uh, they used the Punisher logo as kind of their thing. They painted it all over, like, buildings where they had, like, gone into, and they also painted it on, like, a lot of their trucks and stuff. And his um, plate carrier did have a Punisher skull spray-painted on. So I did the main outline of the skull, and then I actually dry-brushed some black around to make it look like it kind of fades away the way that uh, spray-paint does around the edges. And then, uh, Chris Kyle is similar to my Master Art Sandman figure, because um, the pouches are just straight up glued on, because I didn't really care to try to make sure that they can come back off. And then I also painted all the straps on the top and the little like loops for attaching stuff on. I painted all those in like a, gr a cool green color and over here too. Then his comms uh, device kind of going around here, I painted that all in black which is realistic to his real look and that or yeah and then also all the little clips are painted in light gray. Um, and also the body of this figure it started out in just plain tan but I painted the knee pads on and I painted the like tricolor camo that the Navy SEALs used back in the early bits of the Iraq War when 
Chris Kyle served. So I painted that all around the figure. I also cut off the little tabs that are on his belt that come with it so you can add pouches to make it look more realistic. But then also this head, it's the head of the uh, figure who just has a plain head from the Claw Assault set. So this head, it was originally the hair was in um, a really blonde color and it didn't have a beard. So I painted the beard on, I painted the eyebrows in the same brown color as the um, hair. And then I also, uh, the front of the hair was really flat on that figure. So I added a tiny bit of clay on the end to kind of make it look like it spiked up the way that Chris Kyle often had his hair. And then, so I think I got a really good uh, likeness to Bradley Cooper and Chris Kyle because they also say that those two guys are quite similar looking. So I kind of based it on a bit of a mix of both and I think it turned out really well. And then also, actually, I'll move that back. Sorry, kind of going back and forth. But yeah, here's a better look at that Punisher logo. And then also, while we're here, really zoomed in, we can actually also look at the um, American flag patch that I made for his shoulder. It's not the greatest, but it kind of does the job. I'm mm, Maybe I could have done better on that, but it's pretty difficult at this size. So I painted these stripes in tan, and I painted the main flag in a green color. And then, uh, now we'll actually look at his holster. This is the same holster that I'm doing a video on uh, today. Uh, I'm making a tutorial for it, but I'll take him back out. Sorry about that scraping noise. But uh, you kind of have to turn him around to make or to let the pistol out. But, so his pistol, it's just the normal Mega Box pistol, but then it also has some black painted onto the slide. It has the little tab on the end for a suppressor cut it off, or cut off, sorry. And um, the iron sight is cut down a tiny bit on the end to make it look less abrupt when it doesn't have the um, little tab on the end. And then I also painted on the iron sights. As you can see, just like that, it looks pretty nice. And now that the gun is out, we can look at the holster better. So this is the same as, um, I made one of these for Grinch actually, I just forgot. Yeah, I haven't made a video for that yet. But, so this is my new design. And I think I used it on one other figure. Tell me in the comments which figure that was from. I made one of these. But, oh yeah, it was Ghost. So this is the same holster as Ghost, except I modified the design a little bit. So it kind of comes down a bit there. But it's looking really good. And I modified the design a bit so it fits better with the gun. But it has the back plate. And then the straps are just painted around. So now let's go on and finish up this video. So that's another review wrapped up. So please like and subscribe. Click here to subscribe, and click here to see my other Call of Duty videos. I'll link this in with Call of Duty type stuff, because it is based on a Call of Duty Mega Box figure. But click there to see that Call of Duty playlist with all my other videos of either Call of Duty sets, custom figures, or custom builds, like my A10 Thunderbird. But, yeah. So... And I, I will see you in the next video.